Hello everybody, I am Tom and you will watch me play Divinity Original Sin 2. In the last episode, we entered Ark's proper, apparently I can go down here? Nope. Just a, just a dialogue option, it's alright. But, we got pointed towards the Paladins. Please, you've got to help me! My wife, they want to kill her! She didn't do anything wrong, she was just trying to save lives, but no one will listen! You have to help, please! Tell her to worry no more. You'll save her, darling. Lucian's love. Thank you, but please, you have to hurry. Go! Please, you have to Reconsider, stop this Paladin. In you approach, but the Paladin's icy blue eyes never move from his prisoner. Hmm. You are interrupting a Paladin court, stranger. You can call this a court until the end of days, Kem. It's still a disgrace. The prisoner will be silent. Ask Ken what this paladin is accused of. We are beyond accusations. This once paladin is guilty of refusing orders and protecting supporters of the Black Ring. They were boys. Local boys that signed up for steady pay in a slick uniform. A couple of white traitors doesn't mean every magister is in league with the Ring. At best, you are a coward. At worst, you are a traitor. In either case, the sentence is death. Step between the prisoner and Kem. He cannot do this. His icy eyes focus on you for the first time, pinning you with a freezing look. Step aside, stranger. Hmm. Explain that you're on his side. You're the one who sent the owl, which warned him about the Magisters in the Black Ring. I see. You have my thanks for that. You did us a great service. Now. If you would do me one service more, stand aside. Hmm. I argue this traitor may have key information. Perhaps there is some truth in that. Very well, she will not die today. The paladin looks at you as Kem turns away and silently mouths, thank you. Find a cell for her. And the rest of you have your duties. Move! Oh, by the divine, thank you. I'll never forget this kindness. Oh, nice. <laughs> she, gives, she gives his armor, I did not know that. Um... I don't really know what I want, to be perfectly honest. This sells for the most, and I may wear it. Alright. Still can't believe the Magisters were in cahoots with the Black Ring. But with the Reds slain and the Whites ousted, maybe now we can restore the Divine Order to its former glory. Ask if the search has been fruitful. It might be if you quit preoccupying me. If Kem says we'll find something, then we'll find something, and that's that. Hmm. I have far too much blind faith in this man. At least, in my opinion. There's a well here, apparently. Oh, no. <laughs> this marker on the minimap I thought was marking this well. It's not. It's just marking the barracks. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> um... So, we've met Kem. We haven't talked to him. I do need to talk to him properly at some point. Hello, Lady Augusta. The well-dressed dwarf woman lies on the cobbles, giggling drunkenly to herself. Remark that she's too well healed to be <laughs> some homeless drunk, and ask what happened to her. I wish I was bloody <laughs> homeless. Then I'd be home already. <laughs> no, I was at a wedding. Beggars kicked me out. Said I was causing a scene. Ask her about the wedding. <laughs> the usual fuss. The groom's a local alchemist, marrying the daughter of some big shot merchant. So you want to get into this wedding, can she help you? Invitation only, I'm afraid. <laughs> Ask how she got into the wedding in the first place. Is she a relative? They'd hardly kick out their own flesh and blood, would they? I barely know any of them. Friends of friends of business acquaintances. Ask her if you can take her invitation if she no longer needs it. Eh? No. Why would I do that? 
Marcus, you might feel embarrassed over what happened once she sobers up. If she gives you her invitation, it'll be one less reminder for her to deal with in the morning. Fine, fine. Take the bloody thing. Now, off with you. I can feel a void walking of a headache coming along. Fantastic. So we, we just got ourselves an invite, which is hilarious. I wasn't even planning on doing that, but I just saw a drunk dwarf. Alrighty then. Let's talk to the town crier. Keep a careful straight face. I don't know what else is going on in the world. Mark that her definition of in charge may be different to yours. Ask what else is going on in the world. Hear ye, hear ye. Void woken attacks increase. Citizens warn to be alert. Nod solemnly. Anything else? Hear ye, hear ye. Kraken sighted at sea. Several ships missing. <whistles> Anything else? Hear ye, hear ye. Majesty's colluded with Black Ring. Paladin's clean house. Anything hear else? Ye, Hmm. Laugh at the dwarves and their petty intrigues. Hmm. People respond, no hurry. <laughs> People or children? Um, tell the kids you should be in school. She sticks her tongue out at you, then gets back to work. Laugh at the futility of the gesture. If the ancient empire goes to war, the ancient empire wins that war. What else is going on? Sounds dangerous. Dwarves and their love of booze. <laughs> <laughs> Remark that history is a constant state of change. Ask what else is happening, or has happened, or maybe will ever happen. Cool. So we did go through everything there. Um, there's a few people to talk to here. A lot of them having shops. For starters, we've got this guy here. Back in business. Thank the gods for Lord Cam, eh? He sorted out them void woken. Now, what it be? Alright, so he doesn't have anything of particular interest, so I'm not that worried. I do want to sell some stuff sooner or later. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to the main traders here, and then I'm going to do some trading, and I'll cut the trading out. The town is all a twitter over your escapades at the gate. It's the perfect time to replace the hunting supplies you've lost, yes? May the land sustain Okay, so she's the arrow merchant. I'll give you that. Kin. They burn our flags and set our homes alight, but... Oh, I She's almost red. Pardon. Are you... Well, goodness. Please do browse my tinctures at your leisure. Take all the time you must. She notices I'm the Red Prince. Do return, should you find it necessary. Um, she has some interesting stuff there. That's pretty good. I may come back to her. Um, I need to find... Uh, this guy here, Trader Karen, he's the one who has most of the shit, if I remember correctly. In front of a cart, displaying various sundries. He warmly motions to you and gives you a broad smile. Don't fret, my friend, and don't falter. You needn't call to Lucian for sucker, for I am here to answer your purchasing prayers on this day of celebration. What do you got? As I promised. Yeah, this guy is the guy. Armor central. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go between these guys and sell and buy all the stuff I want. Uh, and then I'm going to be back with you momentarily. Alright everyone, we're back. As you can see here, I'm wearing the mask of many faces, and I'm a lizard. Uh, I'm a lizard. I'm an elf. The reason being, I want to eat Alexander's severed head, which is a sentence that's interesting. Um, as well as this paladin surreal's arm and the solo man's hand, I want to eat all of them. Start with Alexander's head. I cannot believe that doesn't give you a memory. That seems too significant not to. That gives you corrosive touch, which is cool, I guess. And the Salomon's hand. You are the there we go. 
a twisted undead elf, your memories flashing through you like sparks from a blazing fire through smoked air, passing so fast you can barely see an image before it's gone. An elven child, the moon, the sun, the void, the dirt, a death in the fog amongst the trees, the ugly hag in the desert alley whose sight you took, an artifact that powers a lever. You strain to hold on to that one last memory, and at last it comes. Tiersendelis, Duna, Xantetsa, and Amalia, all worshipping the moon. The sallow blood within the meat was corrupted long before his death. It makes you sick, and then Sallow's memories are gone. Hmm. It literally made me sick. Alright, so let's put this back on, which turns me back into a lizard, as you might imagine. Okay. So, we can put this back in here. Uh, as you can see, my inventory is just a bit cleaner than it was. Um, I sold a lot of stuff, I changed some armor up. Um, you can see now I'm sitting on about 2600 on both physical and magic armor for the Red Prince, so he's very even. Loaster, on the other hand, is about 2000 on both. Um, we still have a bit of upgrading to do. Speaking of which, I'm going to come down this way because... Business you. must be booming. I was over here, yeah? I know she's pretty, but my wife's here to work. Not a gall cat. Now, what'll it be? Now that you're all done. Warrior, you just in case you need anything night. again, just checking. <sighs> eh. No, nah, not really. Maybe for Losa, though. Eh. Again, I'm probably going to be doing a bit more shopping because there's a couple more people I need to talk to. I wasn't expecting to buy anything off her, that's why I talked to her last. Um, the blacksmith? I don't I think has a different inventory. Yeah, there you go. You want the wares? You speak to my wife, Fianola, over there. I actually forgot about this uh, NPC because I very rarely play um, fighter classes all the way to this level. But this shop down here is by far more interesting because he sells all coins of insane shit. Uh, also, we're down to 60,000 gold from 100,000 gold, or nearly 100,000 gold, so you can see I spent a fair amount, even though I sold a lot of shit. You, Hello. Over here. Whatever, I was going to talk to the rat, but he ran away. Hello. The man glowers from under his hood. You can't see his eyes, but you know they are trained on you. They call you a slayer of giants. If you strike from the shadows as effectively as you strike in the light, you may find my supplies invaluable. Thank you for the compliment. You're worthier than any of Kim's chums. They're smug, they're brutal, but nothing more. It's no wonder the folks here come to me for guidance. They can't fight. They can only hide. Pilgrims. Revelers, with every one of their cheers and prayers, they draw wicked eyes. The publicly faithful are easy targets. In Ox, strength is found only in silence. Hmm. Is there more on your mind? So, he sells some uh, sneaky stuff. As you can see here, he's got necromancy stuff. He also has uh, scoundrel stuff. Um, I don't expect him to have anything I particularly want. Aero Necro Summoning is not bad, but that's not a particularly good helmet. This here, Constitution Pyro Hydro Summoning. Better than hers for anything? Mm-hmm. Arguably. Cost 15,000, though. How much did it cost on him? 14,000. Still expensive as balls. It's quite a good ring, though. I'll think about it. And keep my gold for now. So I've done my shopping. <laughs> and now, I think we go... What way do I want to head first? Cam's Mansion. I don't want to head to... I want to go to the schoolhouse. Let's go to the schoolhouse first, shall we? I do need to speak to Lord Cam as well. I also need to go to the, the uh, Mikhail Ross estate. Lots of things I need to do. How many I'm actually gonna do, we'll see. Foaming blood begins to gush from the eyes, mouths, noses, and ears of several bystanders. Their flesh melts away, revealing hellish figures beneath. You spilled the blood of the advocate. The doctor demands a reckoning. 
Ooh, they didn't like the fact that I killed their boss, eh? I'm not worried. Hey, my dude. Come up with your friends so I can hit you all. Cool. Um, well, let's check these guys' resistances. Water, air, and poison. I always do that. Fire, air, and poison. Water and air. Fire and earth. Hmm. Interesting. I think what we do here... Never swap myself. So these guys are all relatively clustered. We're then going to do an adrenaline. And then... Really? You can't get the last guy in your superconductor? I find that hard to believe. Can hit all of them with that, however, which should do fairly significant damage. And we'll do a go with cooling as well, because why not? There's a fairly significant amount of damage. Alright, Lucer. Time to get the fuck up here. And we also want to teleport this man right in the middle. Alrighty then, so how are they sitting on magic armor? Some of them have a shitload and some of them have hardly any. Which I guess makes sense. Hmm. I could just burn through source here. Which honestly is probably going to be the quicker method. Let's do it. Got lots of crits there. Uh, yeah, so that ate through all their magic armor. <laughs> They're really not going to be able to kill me. I say that as they literally just killed Losa. Actually, they may kill Losa outright. If he attacks her, she could probably get through that amount of health, I would say. Yeah, Shackle of Pain is a pain in the dick. But I think ultimately okay. Losa gets to go again, which is hilarious. Um, what we're going to do is permafrost myself, because I believe that gets rid of Shackles of Pain. It does. Also, I'm in bad shape, so permafrost is a good idea. Alright, Shackles of Pain is removed. Time to die. Uh, that does physical damage. Uh, that was pointless. What a waste of a turn. Well, this is going down for for certain. Is she terrified? She is. Which is hilarious that she blocked that blitz attack because she's not going to be able to do much on her turn anyway. Okay, so apparently I hit th three. Looks like he gets hit twice by this, because it's trying to hit this guy and it's blocked. So that's worth it. Alright, stunned, stunned. That hits both of them, apparently. Also hits Losa, but... That's fine. I've nearly- I've hit it through all of their armor, effectively. Um, this is Curse Fire, right? 
which is interesting. Leaves me with some less than perfect options. Let's kill some first. It's probably did not kill him, I'm surprised. If we can kill them, though. Makes it easier on myself. How are these two? These two are actually relatively close to death. That should hit both of them and maybe kill one of them. Cowards. <laughs> they actually ran away. How often does that happen in a game? Um, okay, so I have to actually revive Losa proper. Hello, Losa. How are you feeling? Probably not very good, I imagine. Now, I used all of my sauce on that fight. It wasn't trivial. Um, can I actually... Do these guys have ghosts? I don't know if demons leave ghosts. I don't think they do, because I think technically they go, like, directly back to hell. Um, but I think I can still launch on this horse, so I will. Um, so that's not really where I wanted to go, but, you know, cool. It's an extra fight. It adds some time to the episode, I suppose. Where I actually wanted to go was up this way. Because I'll be honest, I can't remember the exact layout of this place. Um, I want to go to the school. Not first, but, like, relatively soon. Hello. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Okay. <laughs> What's this over here? Is this the church? Our parents will be busy praying all day. We can stay out and play as long as we like. I guess that's a thing. And who are you, Stu? My big brother said a voidling will come and eat my shoes if I don't do his chores. I don't want a voidling to eat my shoes. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lucian, help us! Hello. Gods, those flames! And void woken! Here, in our sanctuary! Our sanctuary! Ask him to slow down, he's not making any sense. The ancient Empire Consulate. We were swarmed by Void Woken, and everything just caught fire! We couldn't quench it! What if someone is still there and those monsters, my gods? Lucian isn't here to help you, but I am. You'd go in there? Zol Stissa, bless you. Please, save what you can, who you can. I was actually over there just before. Um, <laughs> that's what's over here is the consulate. Um, Paladin Healer, Paladin, this is the straight shot that takes us back to the courtyard. Yeah, that's fine. That takes you around that way, which I don't care about. Okay. I'm just kind of getting my bearings here because I can't actually remember precisely where everything is. That's why I'm... I pledge my life for all Why I'm a bit interested about this. Alright, so we're getting more experience because we've found the cathedral. Is there a way? Is there a fast travel point up here? I can't remember. Hmm. Nevertheless... Hello. I mean, it's gonna be hard to steal this thing. Let's give it a quick, quick save here, shall we? Hey, you wanna go invisible? Yoinked. Stole the cash. Think nothing of it. Uh, what do we get out of interest? A medium physical armor potion, I do not give a shit about. Gold. Which is no longer stolen because it went into my pile of non-stolen gold. And Claws of the Faithful. You have the trust of Lord Ahu. Jesus. Show that you deserve it. Two intelligence, two constitution, one aerothurge, point two movement, and the amount of magical armor I get from this. Cool. Well, they're the ones I'm wearing, apparently. 
Um, these give plus one thievery, but I think I already have gloves that give better thievery. Yeah, these give plus two, so I can sell these. Cool. Alright. A dubious flyer. Hello, let's read this. To the lucky claimant, if you're holding this letter, you have already proven yourself a capable student of spycraft. Now it is time for the next step. Can you find me an arcs along the docks behind the toy seller's house? Keep your head low, Victor Voss. I've already talked to Victor. <laughs> Interesting, he's just leaving flyers hanging about. Apparently there's a trader down here. I'm going to go talk to her. Oh, there's a couple of traders down here. The elf raises her head and peers down her nose at you. This is a place for scholarly pursuits. You do not look the scholarly sort. Ask her if the great intellects of Champion uh, the, of Champion Academy would have offered the same cold welcome. She sniffs loudly. I don't expect a great intellect to offer much welcome at all. But I respect your point. While most residents of Arcs lunge for each other's kneecaps, I see you seek a better way. <laughs> Browser she books. Silently. Uh, so they... Right here, you can buy... Oh my god. That's a lot of money. But they're in incredible, incredible boots. They give no magic armor, though, which is interesting. But they give three finesse, two wits, one scoundrel, one sneaking, one thievery, six initiative, immunity to knockdown, crippled, and slowed. Huh. What are your boots currently? I think that's worth it. They're just so incredibly good. They're also level 20 boots. Uh, level 20, by the way, is the, the max level in this game. I think technically you can get higher than that, but effectively the highest... The highest level enemies that you're going to be facing are level 20. Huh. Who would have thought it? This woman, random woman here is selling amazing boots. Alright, cool. We are done here. Indeed. Uh, nope. Let's talk to this man. He's walking so... Doing so big gesturing, I nearly stole his stuff. Care to see a trick? Yeah, she most certainly would. The merchant snaps his fingers and a small flame emerges from his forefinger. He blows it out as he would a candle, and smoke wafts forth. Well, it's not a very dramatic stunt, but kids like it, and doesn't freak out their parents. But I presume you're after something a little more sensational, no? Hmm. All done. Indeed. Um... Very basic stuff here, as far as the armor. Again, all the spells you could want are here, so that's quite nice. Um, for all the kind of elemental damage spells, at the very least. Um, Thunderstorm I think I already know, technically. I'm really not too worried about the rest of these. My stuff will get you started, at least. Merchant Roz and his pals, their stock's exceptional. Might want to check his place out once that wedding's over and Interesting. So Mikhail Ross sells a bunch of stuff. How are you alive? I, I don't think I've ever found her before. Hey, Sahalia. The elves suffer, but the elves still stand. You have not seen the end of us. The mother stands tall. The war of the races approaches. The elves shall stand. You shall not see the end of us. Interesting. The war of the races approaches. The elves huh. shall stand, and you... Interesting. She's at the point of, uh, war. It seems like she may be working directly under Turns and Dilius now, which is interesting. It's not something I've ever... Why do you have a precursor unarmed? Greetings, stranger. May the dawn greet you warmly, and the twilight guide you to peace. I've little for sale beyond the very history of the elven people. I sell not just goods, but memories wisely chosen. Huh. He sells body parts. Most 
That's very creepy, but I guess also makes sense in a sort sort of strange kind of way. Uh, so this gives healing tears. It gives f five intelligence, five memory, and you said atrophy. Is that better than yours? Not really. Healing tears is nice, but not nice enough to warrant that. Three intelligence, two memory, two hydrosophist, and you get icebreaker. Arguably better. Arguably also not worth 16 grand, though. Huh. The mummified head of the long-dead wizard, Lenanor. Sparks fly from des desiccated fingertips. Source radiates from his eye sockets. Oil appears to have been used to preserve this ancient flesh. Interesting. I guess these probably give you skills. I've never actually talked to this guy, I don't think, ever. Um... So that's the thing. Nevertheless, I think we're pretty much wrapped up for this episode. We're sitting about half an hour. Um, I don't know if we accomplished much. We fought a demon and we did a bunch of shopping. <laughs> it's effectively all we did. Um, having said that, nothing wrong with a shopping episode every now and then, I suppose. Um, so here is the Michael, Mikhail Ross estate, which we're going to go to at some point, because we do need to go there for Loha, he asked us to go there. And we also have an invitation, invitation to get in there, by the way, which is this one here. To our esteemed madam by special invitation, you are invited to share in a, the matrimony day of my darling daughter, Isla, in the week of Lucian's day. The wedding will be held in our estate in Arx with all provisions. Looking forward to your gracious presence, Mikhail Ross. And apparently Mikhail Ross is an, like an incredible, uh, an incredible merchant with like all sorts of shit. So, that's good to know. Hello Fleetfoot. Clear off. Need to keep the way clear. Chuckle and ask if he's planning a quick getaway. Ain't no getaway happening here. And if there is, I am involved. Get it? Tell him you know I've set up for a quick getaway when you see it. Ask who is in a hurry to leave. Or who, ask who's in a hurry to leave. Ain't no one going nowhere as far as you're concerned. Ain't no one packing up and moving out of the city in a hurry. And that no one ain't no dwarf. Get it? Now go on, clear off. Hmm. I get it. Good. Now clear off. Interesting. It's also really weird to me that they use, um, wolves. I mean, I guess, why the hell not, if you can pull it off, but... I mean, it's a cool pack animal, don't get me wrong, an enormous wolf, but... Mysterious trader in cheese. <laughs> hello. Well, hello, handsome. Care to hear about the power of cheese? I've got wheels, and rounds, and blocks, and rolls, and possibly more. But my wares are nuanced, with undertones of... Something rare. What do you have in mind? She looks you up and down, then... What's on my mind? Hmm. Why, texture, maturity, taste. But most of all, I'm wondering what tickles your fancy. Looking at you, I think it may be power. Not wrong. Am I right? So I have not misjudged you. Now, we've established how you feel about power. How do you feel about law? Specifically, laws relating to property and the acquisition of goods. Hmm? Tell her you she'll be in charge around here and she'll have nothing to fear from you. If she does right by you now, that is. A glint appears in her eye and she smiles. Then she raises her hands and shows you her rings. Perhaps this is the power you seek. I've been waiting for the right customer to come along for these. But I warn you, power doesn't come cheap. Even for someone as attractive as you. That's where she came by these unusual wares. I have my little helpers. Here, there, and everywhere. They find me the finest morsels in all of Arx. After all, why should the most delectable of foodstuffs grace only the tables of the nobility? Whisper that you're in the business of dried meats, and are in need of a few little helpers yourself. Very well. You can find my helpers. The Thieves Guild within the Ark sewers in their so-called secret hideout. Here, I'll mark it for you. But 
Approach carefully. The foul stench is hardly the sewer's gravest danger. I don't know. Can I offer you something special? Let's go to trade. I'm sure you agree when I say. Um, I'm wondering whether or not she only trades you these rings if you have um. If you have actually done that persuasion with her, I assume so. I don't think any of these are going to be better than what I've got, probably. I mean, they're not bad. Thievery persuasion. Scoundrel Geo. Huntsman. Hydro Necro. Eh. Yeah, nothing amazing. But good to know she knows the Thieves Guild. Uh, over here, I believe, is the school. Yep, that's the school. Which is where we're going next time. But that's going to be it for this episode. It was effectively just a shopping episode. There was a brief detour where we fought some demons. But aside from that, <laughs> pretty much... Well, now we're fighting more demons. So that's a thing, I suppose. I'm not particularly worried about fighting the demons. Uh, I'm hasted. Which means I can get up to here with 2 AP, I think. We can then... Teleport this man over here. And then we do an adrenaline. And then we hit them all with the shocker. Damn it. Power pole got in the way of the one that I needed to hit the most, arguably. So I was going to say, we had a fight with some demons. We had two fights with some demons, it would seem. Over here. Oh, this paladin is actually in the fight with us, interestingly. Uh, not surprising, I guess. Uh, paladins probably have a habit of uh, helping out when things like this happen. Alright, we'll go there. Nether swap with myself. We then probably want to do a teleport on this guy, like over here. We only have one action point. So probably... Buff both of us. Notice these guys are level 20. So they do out-level us significantly. They can do shit like that. Red Prince is probably going to go down here. I realize I forgot to, um... Getting help from the Paladin's helps. I forgot to, um, remake my, uh... Shrine of my Resurrection Doll thing with the Red... Uh, with Losa. So it's actually dangerous to be in this fight. Alrighty then. So first things first, I'm gonna do exactly that. Um, combine this with the resurrection scroll, please. Cool. That's something. Um, then what do we want to do? You know what? I think we want to probably fix hers while we're at it. Cool. So they both have a chance of resurrecting again. I do have some source I can burn, which will give me more magic armor and probably heal me to full. Indeed. Healed me. Gave me some magic armor. Stunned. You shocked? You are shocked. Alright, so they're both stunned.
I'm going to get out of dodge here. And... Hmm... They take slightly less water damage currently, but... Whoa. Sound went a bit weird there. I think we were technically inside the house, which doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense, but whatever. Uh, let's just pump as much damage as we can, effectively. Interesting choice. Yeah, don't climb up there. Because I'm going to be firing down some powerful magic on top of them. And I don't think you want to be in the middle of it. Alright. They ran away again. Annoyingly. But, I mean, the plus side of this, I suppose. Um, I guess I'm just going to wait for this fire to not be on fire. But that's going to be it for this episode. The plus, uh, the plus side is I knew this fight was here. I was planning on doing it at the start of the next episode. I guess we're doing it now. Um, so this is done. Uh, where is Solora? You here somewhere, buddy? Eh, I'm sure he's somewhere. Um, okay. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this episode. So, we did mainly shopping episode, but we did two fights, so that's something. In any case, thank you for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Whew.